Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where I think I remembered. Actually, you know what? I just remembered I put it in the save game. File name. Uh, let's see. There's a thing I wanted to remember. Let's open up the load game here and take a state land. Yes, I thought so. <laughs> okay, so we want to take a state land as soon as we can. We do need a... We need to remove a rebel army, which there is one up over here. I believe that is already being taken care of. Yes, indeed. So, we are making some cores. That is fine. We're kind of in a bit of a chill period. We need to redo our navies a little bit because it's got a little bit broken in the war. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this fort. That is not necessary. Wonderful. We have a lot of money. That is... A truly ludicrous sum of money. How are we doing on our estate? Or not our estate, on our institution. 6.9%. That's getting better. Hopefully, when, by the time we finish this chill period... Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully by the time we finish this chill period, we will be ready to embrace that. Because we are definitely uh, falling behind on the institutions. Industrialization has not actually spawned yet. Which is fascinating. Um... Technically, we can't attack them. Okay, what rebellions do we have up? None. Can we now take a state land? No, because it's a rebel-controlled province. Hello. It's that one. Aren't we supposed to have an army here? <laughs> Where did it go? We need to track that down. So the Asian first is over here as it should be. The Asian second is up here. It might be this army. The Asian third, or no, this is the African third. The Asian third is over here in Crimea. Yes, that is correct. Okay, we're going to raise another Asian army. We're going to recruit a unit of Royal Mortar right here. Wonderful. And, of course, we do want to make a core here, and I kind of want to do Dumfries. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to have these guys back off again, so that they hopefully aren't taking as much attrition. That would be nice. Okay, so we need to go grab this back ASAP. We can grab our Miltech, and I think we should. Like, this is Miltech 29. I think we go for it. That enables flying batteries, which is great. We absolutely take that. And let's continue coring. And now we're just waiting on this sweet, sweet flying battery to finish up. That is going to finish right about now, actually. There it is. And we're just going to head in over to this location, take this back, and we are also going to go ahead and make ourselves an Asian... What is this? The Asian 5th? There is already an Asian 5th. That's in India. This would be the Asian 6th army. Okay. That sounds good. No worries about that one. We do have a rebel uprising coming up, and I didn't technically mean to open the Great Powers menu. Separatist sentiment. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. So, 15, 36. Gotcha. That is our current size. So, 36 and 4. Okay. We do need a rival, and we're going to go ahead and put one in. It will, of course, be Pradeharas, as usual. And we will begin coring. Wonderful. Request for military access from Korchin. We'll pass on that for right now. Oh yeah, we uh, vassalized Kazan. We should probably improve relations with them for a bit. Let's check our vassals here. Yeah, they're pretty much the only one that we want to do that with. We can purchase a Splendor ability, and we're definitely going to do that. Neither of these are too important. Maybe improved Force March. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Okay, colonists. They're all doing okay for now. We're going to want to change them soon enough, but right now they're doing fine. 
Constantinople, huh? Byzantine separatists. Isn't that just typical? We're going to put in our ridiculous general. Look at those stats. 5642. That's nuts. Unless you're trying to siege something. In which case, it's absolutely hot garbage. <laughs> uh, but that uh, that's what we have flying batteries for. Wonderful. I can't remember. What is the max tech in this game? Isn't it 32, I think? I'm pretty sure it's 32. But don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% certain on that. Next month, we can get Roxburgshire. There we go. Oh, never mind. A revolt instantly popped there when I was trying to core it. Well, we'll core this location instead, and we'll get Roxburgshire soon enough. They will pay for their treachery, but uh, not with admin power, they're not. Loyalty for prestige? Okay, we'll go with that. Minor inconvenience indeed. So we'll put this down and then we'll grab the estate land once there are no more rebels. Because we definitely want to grab a religious state for the clergy. Get that extra monthly admin power. Ooh, that's a nice event. 40 in all categories? Yes, please. I'll happily take that. Who needs tea when we have coffee? Gain a mercantilism and 10 prestige. Wonderful. Hopefully we don't have a rebellion pop, but it doesn't look like we're going to. And we'll core this as well ASAP. There we go. I paused the game. It was technically on, on the 2nd of January, so a rebellion could have popped there if we had one ready to go. And none of these are technically speaking ready to go. But... We are going to go ahead and seize land. Wonderful. All estates drop their loyalty, but we are also going to grant the uh, clergy religious state. Now this, funnily enough, reduces their loyalty by 5% and doesn't give them influence. You know, I don't even. I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay. There we go. So we are now gaining ourselves plus one admin power per month, I believe. Yes. Plus one admin power per month. That brings us up to 15 admin power. If that's not enough to get us caught up, I don't know what is. We'll start converting in pest. Wonderful. Our overextension is still ticking down. We're currently eight years ahead of time in admin tech, but that admin power is going to be going into the humanist idea tree. So that is absolutely fine. We'll bring these guys... Oh, Separatists, that's fine. We'll bring these guys back down to Essex. Hey, another conversion. Yeah, we'll happily take that. We're at 98%. Technically, we are at 98.2% religious unity. And 9.5% missionary strength. That's slightly bonkers, considering we didn't go religious ideas. Let's actually take a quick look at the uh, state of the religious map here. It's still a bit of a patchwork in Europe. There's no doubt about that. 25 government reform progress? Rip. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's definitely still a bit of a patchwork, but... Coptic is definitely spreading, and that is wonderful. Coptic is the correct religion, and I suspect this belief may be what sparks World War I, and also World War II, and also all the other world wars. <laughs> but uh, we'll win those. Local autonomy and nobility gains 1% of land? Uh... No effect, and they would lose 15 loyalty, or a 50% chance that they rise up in Bushubi. Where is this? Uh, I think I need to be a little more zoomed in. Right up over here. Okay. We'll preemptively order this, and we will demand that the land be returned. Okay. No nobles. Sounds fine. Claim on Poland? Sure, we'll take that. 
When are we truced with Poland? Uh, 1773. Sounds good. Byzantium, 1768. Next year. We can definitely at attack Byzantium quite soon. We're getting to the point where we can almost eliminate Byzantium. I'm thinking maybe two more wars. That's probably pushing it a little bit, although we did take Constantinople from them. So, three wars maximum, maybe two wars, depending on how much development is in some of these locations. 14, 16, 8, 8, 8, 15, 8, 14, 11, 7, 10. It's not a lot of development. We might be able to pull this off in two wars, but we certainly can't annex Byzantium in a single war. But we've only been fighting them for a thousand years. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> like, literally, it's almost been a thousand years since we started this mega campaign. In two years. 1 January 769, it'll be a thousand years. That's just bonkers. We'll have to keep our eye out for that one. <laughs> we do have some separatists brewing particularly Clan Ricard Separatists, we're going to start preemptively moving over to Ireland. They didn't pop this much. Munch? Apparently I'm hungry. They didn't pop this month, which I'm kind of surprised by. Yeah, we're not going to get these cores done in time for another month tick. They're almost certainly going to pop. That's okay. Hey, there they go. Polish Separatist in Rostock. That's fine. 12k. It's adorable. Kexholm. It's not a problem. Let's just go deal with that one. And in Ayrshire, which was actually what we expected. Although, I expected Clan Ricard Separatist to be on Ireland, but nope. Absolutely not. So let's check in on our town hall situation. We don't need any currently, although once we finish coring these, I suspect we will. State houses, we actually can spam out a few of those, and so we shall. Wonderful. What else do we want to spend this money on? Well, counting houses. Want to sort by improvement amount. And we're just going to build a few of these. I think until we are down to making... Let's say this is going to be a lot, no matter how I slice it. Let's say 0.4. And we'll call it good there. With 50 military power? That's okay. I'm not concerned about military power right now. We've got plenty of that. We converted Leipzig. And that is definitely a good thing. Hello. Arborea, huh? Well, the Nordic transports. Well, that's mostly because we need to reform our navies a little bit. That's okay. I kind of don't feel like doing that right now, so I'll, I'll just put it off and forget until I actually need it and then be like, oh crap. But our truce with Byzantium has ended, so we may want to think about going to war with them actually basically immediately. This army would be brought in over this way, and then this one would come up over here. Would be the idea. We'll just get in motion for now. We do definitely want to let these cores happen. Or at least some of them. And definitely some of them. And we definitely want to attack Byzantium sooner rather than later. We'll just allow our armies to drift in a little bit here. They have no friends. I kind of just want to declare now. Their capital is Castamon. Where is Castamon? Do they have provinces I don't know about? No, they do not. This is their capital. They have no capital for it here, though? Hang on a moment. They do. Fort level 1, garrison 1000. They have a capital for it here. It just isn't showing on the map. It's a little bonkers. Okay. Whatever. Like, our capital fort shows up like this. 
I guess it's because they are not hostile to us, actually. That's why it's not showing up. It normally does that. You can ignore me. Feeling a bit tired. <laughs> you can probably tell. Regardless, we are going to crush ourselves with Byzantium in just a moment. This will not be in the slightest a challenge. When does our Golden Age end? In about 13 years. That's fine. 12 years? Something like that. Okay, we're coring some locations. Fantastic. That means that a lot of these... Oh, French Separatists, huh? That's adorable. <laughs> Whatever. We should probably get these town halls built if they need it. What about state houses? No. Okay. Sounds good. Well, this last army is almost in position here. Okay. Time to crush ourselves a Byzantium. We're going to declare on them. Imperialism CB. Yep, and that was exactly what it was. We're going to go directly to their capital. And we're going to look to crush their army. And then we're going to crush their rebels. We can invest in a humanist idea, and this is... Tolerance of heretics. That wouldn't be a terrible idea to grab right now. That said, we probably needed that admin power for coring, right? I want to chase these guys. They're going down to Kirkuk, and they are currently... Ooh, four maneuver. That is pretty speedy. You know what? We'll let them go. It's not very relevant. We can't actually cross here because of this one ship being a jerk, but that's okay. We don't need to cross here. And maybe France will come through and deal with it for us. I don't like navies. <laughs> I mean, I say I don't like navies and then we instantly lose 20,000 sailors. Sure. <laughs> I think the game might be listening to me. Heretics at best. Okay, they were converted. So we want to sort by unity and we'll go for Lothian next. Wonderful. So what are we looking for with this fort? Or rather, with this war? Well, we're just trying to grab as much territory as we possibly can. Cleaning up this exclave would be nice. Can we get two? We can get two. That means that we can almost certainly... Next war, annex the entire re remnant of the... Uh, wow, words are really hard right now. <laughs> we can annex the entire remnant of the Byzantines, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of reasons to not accept that right now, but that won't be the case forever. We're going to have their capital soon enough. Okay, there's their capital. That brought us up to 24% war score instantly. Wonderful. Now we're at 44. And we're just going to cap this fort as well. Remember back when the Byzantines were like an existential threat to us? That was so long ago. Like when the Byzantines controlled from here to here. Like in an unbroken line. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. It's pretty wonderful. Oh, hey, France! Thanks for clearing this out for us. In we go. We're 50% war score right now. And that'll continue going up. 51% war score now. Are they doing anything useful with that army? Where did that army go? Oh, it's just wandering around the Caucasus. Okay, whatever. They can they can do that all they want. There's a core completed. I am actually shocked that this fort hasn't fallen yet. It probably should have. Well, they're at low war enthusiasm. I wonder why. 50 admin power. Yes, please. We don't care about a claim on Chinese territory right now. We are not focused on that. 
our Asian holdings are not really that big of a focus for for us right now. Before the end of this game, I would like to have Byzantium cleaned up, and probably all of Poland would be ideal, but that might not be super realistic, considering the game ends in 1821. Of course, we will be carrying this over to Victoria too, so we can finish the cleanup of Europe then. And we're just going to be such an unstoppable juggernaut. I mean, we already are, let's be honest. But uh, we grew from... Were we a one province? Like, a single count? I think we were. I'm pretty sure we started off as a... as a count. I'd have to double check that. And that would re... That, that would involve going back to Crusader Kings content. Like, Crusader Kings 2. <laughs> oh my. That would uh, certainly be exciting. Crusader Kings 3 is... I'm not going to say it's a better game than Crusader Kings 2 yet. Crusader Kings 3 has a really strong foundation, is what I'm going to say. And it, I believe, will become a better game than Crusader Kings 2. But right now, it's not quite there. It's incredibly close. Well, they won't accept this yet. Oh, that's cool. I do want some cash as well. Oh, well, we're going to continue taking territory. Let's see, you're going to Ankara. Why don't you come on down over this way? Yeah, there we go. That'll work. So yeah, I mean, I really like Crusader Kings 3. It's just, it doesn't quite have all of the features that I'm used to from CK2, and I think it'll get there. I, I don't have any doubt of that, honestly. Give that game two years, and it'll be glorious, I think. As it is, it's quite good. Well, we're at 99% more score. We should hit 100% pretty soon, although we may not be able to... Uh, no, that's not... I was thinking too much about Crusader Kings 2. In Crusader Kings 2, you can't hit 100% war score without winning a major battle. In Europa, you absolutely can. What am I even talking about? It's obvious that I'm tired. Oh, boy. We're gonna go for that sweet, sweet 100 war score. We should be at that momentarily. The only reason we're not is because they're capping this territory, but Ethiopian Canada has shown up to, uh... Tell them to stop it, so I'm sure they will. Ethiopian Canada just has a, a very forceful no. They're going to be like, you you need to stop. And that's exactly what they said. Oh, hi, Kazan. <laughs> Fancy meeting. Actually, Kazan, what are you doing here? They're actually loyal to us already. That's bonkers. Okay. Whatever. Local autonomy in Lataglia. Is this in a state or in a territory? This is in a territory. They can have that autonomy. I don't care. Okay. Once we cap this over, this should, I think, take us to 100%. Nope, not quite. Are they willing to accept this? Oh, they absolutely are. Actually. Oh, we unselected Karaman somehow. Okay. And we'll just take that. And look at that. No more border gore with Byzantium, unless you count Byzantium's entire existence as border gore, which, honestly, I do. Byzantium's entire existence does count as border gore. So we are going to eliminate this fort. We do not need it. We are going to eliminate this fort as well. We do not need it. We're going to send our troops home. This is the first army. This is actually the Asian sixth so we'll go ahead and name that Asian 6th. Wonderful. And we will send that home. And this army is the European 6th. We will send that one home. The Arabian 1st. And the Asian 3rd. Wonderful. And we'll need to core some of this. Oof. <laughs> well, that'll take a little time. 
but that's okay. We're going to have another chill period, and then we're probably going to fight Poland in the next episode. It is time, however, to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>